Yes, NVIDIA, this is how you advertise. What's up guys, I'm your host Snows and this is your boot sequence. The new NVIDIA teaser on their YouTube channel gives us some concrete info about the naming scheme of their new GPUs and it does it in style. The first time I saw it, I thought, hey, I'll try and go frame by frame to see if I can see what the GPU looks like. How naive. Throughout the whole video, NVIDIA goes on to tease what the naming scheme for the GPU will be. The first clue comes up when we see a band of players talking through Discord. You can see that the person typing is named Roy Tex with obvious capitalization on the RTX. Then we see some messages from Ray and Zenith20 followed by a Discord chat with longitude and latitude coordinates of where Gamescom will take place. Then another Discord chat between Roytex and Nat11 ending with a conversation between Mac20 and AD. So it's pretty clear that it's going to be the RTX 2080. But honestly, I don't even care about the name right now. The goddamn reveal was awesome. I wish companies would do more of these. Like give us tiny puzzles to solve just to reveal the product name. No need to give us specs. Just give us a tiny glimpse. It's better than just strapping a CPU on the back of a CGI dude looking down a tunnel. AMD. Anyways, before the teaser, we had the SIGGRAPH presentation from NVIDIA where they announced the new Quadro RTX line. Four new products were shown, the RTX 5000, 6000, 8000, and their Quadro RTX server with eight Turing GPUs. Even more impressive is the demo that they did. During their last presentation, the Star Wars ray tracing demo was run on a $70,000 DGX station that had four Volta GPUs. This time, it ran on a single RTX 8000. This is the first real-time ray tracing desktop GPU, although its price tag is still 10 grand. So affordable? No. Impressive? Yeah. With the way ray tracing is calculated, I honestly wonder how the 2080 will do. The cheapest Quadro, the RTX 5000, has ray tracing capabilities of 6 giga rays per second. And since it seems like ray tracing cores are separate from the usual CUDA or Tensor cores, as you can see on this die shot, they could crack the same amount of Turing ray tracing cores, but reduce the tensor or CUDA cores. I guess that's the way NVIDIA will balance their GPUs now. Oh, you're a gamer? Here's some CUDA cores. Oh, you do machine learning? Here's more tensor cores. You work for Pixar as a contractor or a VFX artist? Well, here are some more ray tracing cores. And I think that's a pretty smart way to do things. Now, I do have a question for you guys. If ray tracing is NVIDIA's focus on their consumer level cards, then the focus is not necessarily on raw FPS, but more more on the quality of the image thanks to ray tracing. Would you rather have a more true to life image thanks to RTX or would you be satisfied with the image quality that we have now and just want more FPS at a higher resolution? Let me know down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Then keeping with Monday's medical theme, a new type of 3D CT scanner developed by Mars Bioimaging can go deep into you and take a 3D sliced x-ray image that shows a detailed view of a part of your body. In this example, the Mars scanner imaged someone's wrist and you can see pretty much all of the details in the bone structure, including the watch. Another example is this 3D scan of an ankle. The most impressive thing in my opinion is the fact that this is a color x-ray. It doesn't mean it actually picks colors, but that the x-rays can actually identify the density of each material in the body and they can be separated so that people can actually color them. Pretty cool. And now deal time. Okay, if you're one of the people that watches my video as soon as it comes out, you're gonna like this. Insurgency is free right now on Steam. Yes, it's an old game, but it's still a good one if your current library is getting old. If you get it now, you can keep it forever and you get 10% off Insurgency Sandstorm when it comes out. This deal expires at 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern today, so go get it. And that's the reason also why I said that it's for people who watch my video when they come out. Then in gaming, Dark Souls Remastered for Nintendo Switch finally gets a launch date. The game has been delayed quite a few months. It was supposed to come out at the end of May this year, but it was pushed back to this summer and then pushed back again for the final launch date of October 19th this year. An amiibo of Solero Vastora will also accompany the launch of the game. And I honestly wonder what it will do, like what this amiibo will do. Speaking of Switch, I forgot to mention on Monday that Doom Eternal will also have a Switch release at launch. The thing is though, the Switch version will run just at 30 FPS. 
kind of like the original on the same console. They say that it doesn't sacrifice experience, but honestly, I don't know. I haven't played many games that run under 60 FPS in a long time, since most of the games I play are on my workstation, and the last game I played with low FPS on Switch was Fortnite, and it was pretty noticeable. So when I make the purchase, I'll be sure to avoid Doom on my Switch and just play it on PC. By the way, yes, I'm gonna buy Doom 2016. I'm just waiting for a Steam sale. Now let's answer a question from you guys, and today it is, what board size do you like? Referring to motherboard sizes, of course. Personally, the smaller the better. My favorite would be Micro ATX, but I can't use them because I have a lot of PCIe device on my PC. I have a Blackmagic capture card, a USB 3.0 card for VR, and my Firewire card for my secondary audio interface. I add a GPU to that, and there is no way I can use anything but a full ATX board. What about you guys? Do you have a favorite? Click the I up there to let me know. And thanks to Anthony Moda for pointing out the poll feature on YouTube. I actually didn't know it was there. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to drop me a little bit of a like and a question if you would like to. I'm in the comment section 24 seven and click right here to subscribe to the channel. Like right here is the subscription button and right here to watch our latest video. This is Monday's video. So free content, subscription. Thank you very much for watching. Stay frosty and I'll see you on Friday. Ooh. Oh, that one was weak.